Camp and cinema can be defined as a person, situation, or activity that is created or expressed by gayness. I will be talking about the nature of irony and humor in camp as it pertains to the living end. Irony is one of the key features of camp because it juxtaposes people, events, or things that conflict. And what is more ironic than two gay people living to their fullest potential in a world that considers them immoral? In the case of The Living End, there is also the imminent death that our two main characters, Luke and John, face, contrasted through their desperation to live. We don't have as much time, so we gotta grab life by the balls and go for it. Humor can go hand in hand with irony. On top of the ironic state of being gay, humor is a way to cope with the unforgiving world. In The Living End, there are scenes that could have been serious and painful, but the director, Greg Araki, chooses to make it humorous instead. You got me so agitated with all this talk. I gotta pee. What? Again? Now, let's take a look at this scene from the film. Oh my god! Something notable about this scene is the pink sheets that Luke and his affair are sleeping on. They're extremely feminine in contrast to the seemingly manly men on the bed. And when his affair's wife walks in, you hear the theatricality in her voice and her over-the-top clothes. Ken? This little phase. I have a relapse. Sorry. It's it's not the 70s anymore when being married to a bisexual was fashionable. The irony here is that the queer man's wife is taking on a more camp personality, which is humorous, and Araki jokes that it's not fashionable to be married to a bisexual. At first glance, this entire sequence may be humorous, but it goes a bit deeper than that. Commentary is being made about how queer men may not be taken seriously, even if people quote-unquote acknowledge their queerness. The humor subverts your attention from this a bit, but the commentary is being made and absorbed nonetheless. I just can't take this anymore, Ken. I can't take this anymore. Several things can be noted up from this scene. There's irony behind the wife, quote unquote, not being able to take it anymore because that same passion can be turned around and said about the discrimination of queer men, especially in a time where the HIV AIDS epidemic was largely ignored by the government due to homophobic rhetoric. Then the wife randomly takes out a knife and dramatically stabs her husband, which is an ode to the horror drama film, a drama that widely uses camp aesthetics. Circling back to the film, Luke is once again exposed to danger and death because of his homosexuality, a theme that is consistently shows throughout the film. This goes to show that the use of camp can explicitly make a film queer and appeal to gay sensibility in contrast to other queer films that may fit more into a heteronormative box. But the use of camp and the overtop filming doesn't take away from the messages that the directors may be trying to convey, even if it's through irony and humor.